Hey, what's up YouTube? So today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how you can create an animated navigation bar using hover effects and keyframes. If I reload my browser, you can see how my navigation items slide in all the way from the left and the right with my list items sliding in individually after a set animation delay. Also, if I hover over my list items, you can see the bars that come in from the left and the right as well. So if you want to learn how to build this, stick around till the end of the video. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're like already an existing subscriber, if you already haven't, turn on the bell notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. But without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the HTML markup for this video is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to have a header, then inside of that I'm going to have a div with the class of container, a nav, an h1 that I'm also going to give the class of brand. Inside of that I'm going to have an anchor tag, give it the name of brand, and I also want to style the A individually, so what I will do is place it inside of a span. And uh, now I'm going to have an UL followed by an LI. Inside of the L LI, I'm going to have a link, and this is going to be home. I'm going to copy and paste it three more times and uh, this will be services about and contact and yeah as far as like the HTML markup goes that's pretty much it going to, into the CSS I'm just going to do some basic resets of the margins and paddings and then set my box sizing to border box and I'm going to target the HTML and give it a font size of 10 pixels and a font family of Robodo with a sans serif fallback um, something else that I want to do is target all the links. Text decoration, none. Color is going to be a light gray. And uh, now I'm going to target the header. And I'm going to give it a width of 100%. A height of 100 of the viewport height. And uh, the background is going to be an image, so it's going to be BG. The position is going to be center and uh, no repeat with the background size of cover. And uh, we also had a linear gradient on top of it. So it's just going to be an RGBA of from um, zero, zero, zero with a transparency of 0.8. And this is going to be the same, but with a transparency of point, uh, let's say five. Make sure you separate that with a comma and uh, it's actually like all balanced out so what I want to do is um come over here to the start and set it to the direction of it to go to the bottom so it's darker on top and lighter at the bottom um something else that I want to do is um target the container I'm just gonna give it a max width of 120 rem, so 1200 pixels, and I'm also going to give it a width of 90%. And 
and uh, to center it I'm just going to do margin 0 auto and uh, next thing I'm going to target is the nab and for that I'll have a padding top of um, 5 rem just to push it down a little bit and uh, as you can see we have some um, nice separation there I'm also going to give it a display of flex so now you see that all of our items are being flexed the next thing that I'm going to do is justify content space between and uh, align my items to the center and uh, do a text transform of uppercase and a font size of um, let's do 1.6 rems and as you can see that looks a lot better already and uh, now what I'm going to do is some um, target the brand and uh, I'm going to give it a font size of 3 rems and a font weight of 300 pixels just um, of 300 just to make it lighter and uh, I'm going to target the brand span now and give it a color of crimson and as you can see the A is red um now what I want to do is target the UL and give it a display of flex and as you can see now all of our items are being flexed and I'm gonna target the allies now and uh, give it a list style of none and uh, for now that's going to be it now the anchor tags I'm going to give it a padding of 1 rem, top and bottom, and 0 left and right. Margin of 0, top and bottom, and 3 rem on the left and the right. I'm also going to give it a position of relative and a letter spacing of 2 pixels. See how that looks. Um, something else you want to do is also set your margin right to um, zero on the last child, and the reason for that is um, if you look over here, um, give this a background color. You see how we have some space left over so if we do a if we select the, the nav ul lia and we do last child so it's basically going to select the last one and do a margin right of zero now you see that it's going to even it out so get rid of that background color now and uh, yeah now going back to the rest of the CSS uh, now what I'm going to do is just target the UL LIA again but this time around I'm going to use them um, before and after to create those lines so before and uh, nav ul
and uh, what I want to do over here it's um first of all I gotta set the content I'm also going to give it a position of absolute followed by a width of 100% height of 2 pixels background color of crimson and uh, I'm going to do a left of 0 and uh, yeah I think that's it for the before and after these are basically all the styles that they both have in common and uh, now the difference is going to be the top and the bottom so going back to select the before and I'm gonna give it a top of um, zero and uh, the after is basically going to be the same thing except that it um as opposed to top it's going to be bottom and uh, something else we want to do um, here is um set the transform scale X to zero and uh, now we're gonna do the hover effect and we're gonna set the scale back to one so for that I'm just going to select um, this again copy and paste it it's gonna look a little bit messy right now but no worries I'll clean it up and uh, gonna go over here and set the hover effect and uh, now I set the scale transform scale X back to one see how that looks so you can see we have the lines now and uh, to make it um, come out from different um, directions what we want to do is um, set the transform origin from the left on the before and uh, transform origin to the right on the after we also want to give this a transition so that it's all smooth. Transition all 0.5 seconds. I'm not transform transition. And let's see how that looks now. And as you can see, the hover effect is already working. The only thing left to do now is just to set up the slide in animation and that's pretty simple um the first thing i'm going to do is just just create the keyframes um fade in that was like slide in makes more sense and uh from zero it's going to i mean it doesn't really matter because like we don't really need it for this one to a hundred percent um, which is going to translate transform translate X back to zero but we have to go back and apply certain styles to our allies and our brand the brand is going to have a transform translate X of negative 1000 pixels and that's basically just going to push it all the way out and the allies it's basically going to be the same thing but it's going to be positive as opposed to negative so as you can see they're like already hidden 
and we have some scroll bars down here because it's pushing it all the way out so what we want to do is um target the body and uh, give it a an overflow x of hidden so that's going to get rid of the scroll bars and now the only thing left to do is just to give it the animation and uh, call that slide in and it's going to be half a second forwards and uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the allies and as you can see it already it's we're almost there reload it and it comes right in but the only issue is that they're all coming in the, at the at the same time so what we want to do now is just select them individually and set a animation delay and that's actually pretty simple first thing we have to do is just some um, again select the nav ULLI and do nth child of one and that's going to that's going to be the first one so I don't want a delay on that so that's just going to stay at zero seconds because I want it to come in right at the same time that the brand comes in and then I'm going to copy and paste that two more one more time now I'm going to change it to the second one third one and fourth one so from one second I want the next one to be at half a second so 0.5 and this is going to be one second and the last one is going to be a second and a half so this should be oh uh, hold up so now if you l l i nth child oh it's not animation it's animation delay So now we should be all done. So as you can see, everything is working. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.